all right guys and welcome back to my youtube channel first of all i want to say happy new year and welcome to 2025 so uh this video is all about how to make kdp account with your phone yes because some people have been telling me that uh, they want to create account that uh, they're asking them for phone number and they are not sending them otp but if you're using your laptop um this video this will help you yes this video here can help you which is how to create kdp account i made this one last year and it has been really really helpful uh, on the previous time if you want to make um kdp um you want to make account you want to create account on kdp before i tell you don't go to kdp uh, just go straight to amazon create account and use google authenticator but now it seems things, uh, things has changed overnight and now you have to add phone number before seeing the google authenticator so the big question is how do we sort this so I th that's why i'm making this video so that you don't have to put authenticator you just uh, you don't have to put phone number but you are going to use the authenticator process which is always the easier aspect of it so the first thing you want to do is open any browser of your choice and uh, yeah so i'll be using this browser you can see i have amazon.com but i think you can start with kdp.amazon.com kdp amazon.com if you want to start with or you can follow what i do here so next thing you want to do is click on sign in and when you click on sign in it might tell you to create account so let's say sign in or create account here we're going to be putting the email we want to use which is find a new email you can't use a already used email you know this but you can use your device yes you can use your device i have to make correction to this you can use your device that has kdp before it's no wrong thing or if you are experiencing book blocking you can live chat amazon and tell them to close that account and use that details the payment method again and recreate another account but you can't use the mail again this is one thing you should know uh, if you're getting confused about this you can watch on my channel yes or send me a dm and i'll tell you how to play safe on amazon so let me get the mail i'll be using for this all right so i'm using a friend of mine the details to create this stuff so now you can see from here this you can use mobile number or email but we are all uh, you are used to email all time so i'm going to click on continue and see if the mail exists you can see it look like you are new to amazon so let's click on cre uh, create new account so that's what we'll be doing now so from here they're going to ask you your first name and your last name yes this is the name on your i will call it the name on your id yes the name on your id so i'm going to come here and say i'll use on uh, the first name i'm going to just say amaka uh well, let's just put grace from here and the son name that is then from here you're going to put a password yes the password is very very important so um or if you're using the payment method that name on that payment method you'll be using is it gray is it clever is it geek pay or pioneer or even wise you can use the details there to create and uh, put in this place to fill in this place so uh the password here i'm going to be putting my password then the next thing i'll do is click on verify you okay? get so that's what we'll be doing so immediately you do that um an email will be sent to you yes so you can check your spam folder in case you can't find it or ensure you have a good network just reload your mail and you have it so from down here i can see something which is trying to tell me i have eight five four six four five eight five four six four five so i'm going to put in eight five four six four five i'm going to click on create account uh yes i think i don't know if this uh otp expires so fast so now you can see we are just in this place automatically they didn't ask me for uh phone number so right now we're going to be putting on um the authenticator uh there's something i've said it's it's this in case your own tell you to put phone number i want to say something now um i'm using kiwi browser okay. the reason why i use kiwi browser is for a so sometimes you have to be smart like what i was saying i'm using kiwi browser so um i always advise you use vpn from the start in case use vpn from the start because if you're using vpn from the start it seems it's easier to bypass the phone number issues or i advise you don't start with kdp dot amazon dot com just go straight to this website as it is but in case you face the phone number this is what you're going to do i'm um, just come here we're going to add this extension so click on the extensions it's going to take you to the web store so search from the web from here from the store sorry click up from the store when it opens ensure you have a good network because it's very very important so at the top section here, you can see search extension and team 
So go there and search for Urban. This this uh, VPN it's a very nice VPN. Then when you search for it, move around and add it. You can see I've already added mine. That is why the option there is to remove from Chrome. So from now, if click at the top right um, three icons, these three dots at the top right. Scroll down, you are going to see the extension you just added, which is down there. You can see Urban VPN. When you click on it, before you start at all, I'm trying to give you this instruction. You can see we have that of United Kingdom. Um, if you try to download this directly on Play Store or the App Store for the iPhone users, you'll be um, prompted to pay for it. But if you're using this um, Chrome extension, you will not be prompted to pay for it. That's one joy about this. Yes, but you can download other VPN if you think you have a powerful VPN. Just connect to United Kingdom. You don't have to use these extensions. You can download anyone. But this one, I've tried it and I discovered it's working perfectly fine. And one benefit of this is you can change to other countries down from Algeria to all countries are supported in this VPN. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to connect to United Kingdom and just wait for these to uh, get connected. You see, it will start counting, trying to tell you it has been what connected. Now, we have, going back to the KDP from here now, oh, this is not what we should be doing. It's taking me back. So we now, a mistake, you can see from here, this is all my fault. So I'll be moving on to that place where I have that Amazon.com, which is this place. I pray... <laughs> Let me just close this one I just opened because I'm not needing this for now. I want to turn on my two-step verification. So let's just be at this place. Okay. So from here now, what we're going to do is we're going to come here and click on this icon there. So click on it. Then we move down down to this place till we see something like um your account. So I'm looking for it. If I see that, I'll be clicking on it. So I've not seen it yet. Okay, we can see from here. See hall. Okay, your account. You can click on see all. So click on see all. Then it's going to open immediately. Then I think from here we'll move down to login and security, which is very, very important. So login and security is going to open the login and security. Over here now, we want to add the two-step verification, which is, you can see how easy it is. So we're going to click on turn on. So from here we have the phone number and we have the other options down there, which is called the authenticator app. We'll be using this one for now so which is very very important so if you, you can scan this via using your smartphone you can just scan this and it will be added automatically so go to play store download uh, google authenticator open it so when you open it i'll not be making too much uh, explanation on this let me just show you the video on how to do this immediately so uh, i decided to make reference to this video because i think it's very very important this one amazon otp not received how to fix country code yes in this video i explained something i'm going to play the Absolutely. video so that you can so, see i'm going to click on authentication app. app like this so now like the, this. Question, so now I the question i said is you have, is to, download you have to download one so that is where so we that is where we need to go to, uh, to google, uh, and, google download and download one of the google authentication, google authentication app. app so to do that it's very simple go straight to google okay i would have just uh try split my screen so that that stuff doesn't close so stay on this place let me just get this off and go to play store from here so let me, uh, so let me uh, be, on uh, be on the screen in a way. Sorry for that. Sorry so for that. Uh, so uh, let me move on to Play Store. So Play Store so already, already, already have the app anyway. So I'm going to come here and just start for uh, authenticate. Uh, I'll uh, uh, find one. But so uh, I will not be showing that in this video. But I advise if you want to watch how to put the authenticator, just move around here. If you want to see the um, the plain picture or the video guide on how to do it, just go and watch around nine minutes of this Amazon OTP not received so that I don't waste too much time um, trying to explain this while watching the video. So um, yeah, I cannot screen record. I can't screen record the authenticator app because it's against their policy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this. But in case you, you try what I'm doing in this video, it doesn't work for you. Just watch that video. There is a guide. I videoed my screen with another phone. It shows everything. So I'm going to go straight to my authenticator app. Immediately I click on authenticator app, you will not be able to see um, you will not be able to see anything again because this reloads every 20 seconds. Now you can't record your screen from here, except it's possible. So I'm going to click on plus sign. So from the plus sign, I don't know if you are seeing it. I'm going to click on the plus sign. In case you are not seeing it, I'm sorry. So the plus sign here, we're going to click on enter setup key. Then at the setup key, you're going to just uh, you're going to paste that your setup key in that your key. 
then clear every space in between it so that each letter there is no space in between you get so it's very important so do that i don't think you can see my screen from here but above all I'm just trying to explain something so just follow the voicing and i'll be back i'll be back immediately so then when you click on those spacing so clear all the spacing that's what i'm clearing right away yes i'm clearing that right away i'm almost done so all right so i'm um, now i'm almost done so um then it's many one spacing then you can call it any name you want like me i'll prefer to call it um amazon so i'm going to come there and call it uh a name i like at so that's what i'll put so uh, you can just fast forward it or watch the video so now I've, I've done that it has been added it has been added so i'll just scroll down to it and copy that unique code that was given to me and i'll minimize and i'm back to it i believe you follow the voicing so i'm going to paste that here then when i paste it it's going to work i don't know who's doing this so let me just accept this person <laughs> All right, that's what facing it. And so I'm going to paste this. It expire every 30 seconds. Oh, I've lost it. I've lost it. Let me go back again to the authenticator app. You can't see it. I don't think you can see it. We have 434112. So just copy it fast. Immediately you create it. It expires every three seconds. 434112. I'm going to click on verify OTP. So we it said unexpected error occurred. All right, let me fix that immediately. All right, so that I don't do anything out of your this. So I'll be putting, I'll be typing it. I'm going to be typing it manually. It expires every 20 seconds. Yes, that expires every 20 seconds. So you're going to verify OTP and you are good to go. So one thing I think you face it, in case you didn't, uh, you add a dark screen. Yes. Uh, what I advise is just move around to copy that, um, that unique code that I, I copied. You can paste it on uh, ChatGPT or WhatsApp AI and tell it clear the spacing. And when it clears, just uh, add it to your Google Authenticator and you are good to go. Or watch that video which I made reference to. It's going to show you everything. So if I'm going to log in with the password and I think we are good to go. So, but I'm not logging into this place. I want to move on to KDP. So I'm going to be adding a new browser. Then I'll, I'm going straight to the KDP website because this is where the main work is. So now it's going to prompt me to sign in. So we're going to sign in with what we have from here then you put in the password so over here now you can see because i already have um, an account with amazon it tell me to agree so you're going to click on agree then the next thing is going to move you directly now immediately you try to update your information trust me this is very important i'll put the password then i'll sign in so i i, I forgot to tell you something immediately you add your two-step verification on amazon website please sign in immediately you sign because something i discovered is I went on to that KDP, which I just said, look at what he told me to do, which is very funny. <laughs> he told me to add my, my phone number. You see, there's no option for you to skip. But when, I, when you are signing immediately to this place here, yeah, you can see from here we have not now. So we're going to be using not now. Then you, you'll be signing immediately to it. So from here, I already have my authenticator app. I don't know why it, it, it left under some kind of stuff, but whatever be i'll be just i'll be adding it again i don't know why he, he, he removed so i i discovered i didn't even cont i didn't finish all the stuff so i didn't turn it on i just did it somewhere so from here you can see we have don't require you can decide to pull this if you don't want so you know but me i prefer you don't uncheck that leave that so now you can see everything is all turned on <coughs> immediately so that's very important all right so that is it so sorry for that disturbance so above all, now we're going to go back to where we have this KDP from here. We're going to straight to the KDP side. And I think things will change immediately. We reload. It's going to tell us enter authenticator app. Okay, I don't know why it's prompting this place, but whatever be, we're going to sort this immediately. Should it okay, you can see now it's trying to tell me to enter OTP that was generated through the Amazon that we just created. So I'll be using that immediately. Um, I'll be entering one year, which expires every I'm going to sign in with it and we are going straight to the account over here and i merely fill your account information so over here i will not be telling you how to fill your account information but there's something that we happen they will tell you to verify your identity to verify your identity you can use your if you have an international passport you can use it if you have a a plastic nin you can use it but in case you try to do your own and you fail i want you to chat me up then i'll tell you what to do i won't say it in the video why you couldn't verify and um, there are some identity you use your book will be getting blocked yes why some your book don't get blocked so all this 
it's easy so go to my youtube channel subscribe to it share this video to your friends then at the top section of it you can see my link to whatsapp then send me a dm through it and i will reply in case you are able to create your account successfully yes definitely you should um you should send me a dm in case you can't create yours as well send me a dm if you have an issue with your authenticator send me a dm as well then on how to fill this just watch the videos on how to create kdp account 2025 i explained how to fill all these details back to removing your tax and other stuff i believe this video is helpful and thank you for your patience and thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video